Good morning. It's the second to the last day of early muzzleloader season in northern New York. I'm not up at camp. I'm in another spot where I used to hunt years and years ago, but it's been posted. So my little honey hole spot is no longer available to me. But north of that spot is still public land. So I'm here in the northern area that I haven't really hunted much throughout the years. All my other deer have been down there. So um, I'm going to just try the area of public land that I, I'm not that familiar with. So I'm just going to kind of scout around. I want to see if I can find any sign of a big buck. So kind of today is just to take my gun for a walk, look for some sign, and uh, maybe I'll get lucky and I'll, I'll bump into a big one. But um, we'll see what happens. If I was hunting squirrels, I would have filled my limit in the first five minutes. Acorns are very plentiful. But I'm not sure how long I'm going to make it in the woods today. I already ditched my jacket. It's supposed to be 70 degrees. Survival tip for you. This vine, all these vines, are right full of water. If you cut into it towards the bottom, all that up there is all full of water. All these vines, you could get gallons of water out of these vines if you needed to. I just sat down to take a little break and I can't believe how active the woods are with birds and squirrels and chipmunks. It's crazy how loud it is here. I always take my snacks out of their original packaging because that foil packaging is so loud. I feel like it just reverberates through the woods for miles. So I always put them in a sandwich bag, which isn't a whole lot better, but at least I'm not fighting with a little wrapper. And then when you get the wrapper off, you've got to deal with a wrapper that's making noise wherever you put it. If you put it in your pocket or put it in your bag, just makes noise.
tick number two. It's not a bad one. Well, there's tick number five and tick number six. Uh oh, just lost five. There's seven. Tick number eight. That still looks green. It's 
really dry, but it's this year for sure. Pick number nine. Tick number ten. really raining out now and um, found this little clearing that huge buck rub is right there so I came under these trees because I'm not dressed for the rain I'm worried if the temperature drops I'm gonna freeze not freeze to death but uncomfortable freeze so I think I'm gonna sit right here I hit my grunt tube a little bit which I don't normally do but Let's see what happens. Thinking about sitting right here till dark. But that probably won't happen because I get bored in 20 minutes. But we'll see how long I can sit here for. This is a good example of if you're lost and need to get out of the woods, if you follow the brook, it's going to come down. I got a brook there and I've got a brook here and they both go down and to make one big brook. And I know that this brook is eventually going to cross the road. So if I was lost right now and needed to get out, if I just kept following this, I'd be out. But Brooks going that way and parking spots that way, so I'm not doing that. But if I needed to. Well, that's it for today. My goal was to find a um, sign of a big buck, which I think I did. I found a lot of rubs and I found that one big rub and they're all in the same general area, only in about two acres of property I found all those so not even a mile but it's it's straight up the hill which is the bad thing I do have this trail behind me which goes up the mountain but I think it curves too much that way when I need to go that way but um, I think I'll try that for next time I marked it on my onyx to see um, if I can get there from an easier direction uh, but I'm gonna call it a day and um, good luck to everybody out there and I'll see you in the woods <laughs>